Kobe was just, she was truly a find. She just, that was just the casting department doing exactly what they were supposed to do and finding this beautiful, talented young girl. Um, and that was just our good fortune. Uh, Josh was, I think, the first person we saw for Ted. And um, we some may have seen other people, but he was clearly the winner. Allie, Allison Hannigan was, uh, and, and Jason Siegel were Carter and Craig's wishes. Um, and Neil, I just remember being in that screening room at CBS watching him <laughs> audition, and it was the laser tag scene, and he threw himself into the wall like nothing you've ever seen before. And he truly came into that room and won the part. Like, it's exactly how it's supposed to happen. He is not what anybody had in their minds, maybe Carter and Greg, but certainly not me and not all those people sitting there. But he came in and got the part. And he deserved it. So was the chemistry between them there from the beginning? I would say so, yeah. Yeah. It was just joyful. It was, it was nine years of me looking forward to go to work every day, truly. Just, just a, a, a remarkable time. I really do think of them all as my kids, so it's, it's, there are no favorites here. But uh, Neil, uh, passionate and enthusiastic and specific and a workhorse. I mean, he, every word was important. And the action he was doing during that word was important. He just never phoned it in. Um, he was remarkable that way. And, and I will tell you, he was remarkable that way for nine years. Um, and he certainly got a lot of press and a lot of notoriety from that show, but he earned it. Um, he did a lot of press. He did everything he could do to make that show a hit. So I will be forever grateful for him. Um, Josh Radner, just a brilliant actor and a really hard role to play, to be that guy surrounded by all, I mean, that's a really hard, that's a really hard role. And he did it so beautifully. And I remember sitting outside of the stage with him after the pilot, I guess we had gotten picked up maybe. And he was just sort of over, like, what happens now? Will my life be different? Yes. Um, sensitive and smart. Um, he, he, is, he was a gift. Jason Siegel, uh, just funny and smart and all the rest of it, but he also had this ability to look at, they would give him these speeches and he would look at it for a minute and he would be word perfect. He just had that crazy gift um, of, for learning dialogue. Um, he was just, just great to be with every day. Um, Allie is like my, really like my kid. Um, and she was happy to do, and she's really, she's just a very funny person. She's great with physical comedy. She doesn't want to sing or dance. Don't ask her to do that. Um, but we had a very special relationship and it was wonderful to watch her grow up on that show and have children and, um, uh, she's 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 remarkable and Kobe um, Kobe grew up on that show and uh, we went through a lot together and she is a remarkable human being I mean she's one of those people that is breathtaking breathtakingly beautiful and prettier on the inside truly um, she's she's a, she's really special all of them just brought something different and equally precious to that show, and that's why that show worked, because somehow they all had something unique to bring, and when you put it all together, it was magic.